driving back from Sag Harbor to, uh, to New York with uh, uh, Jim Hawkins, who's a, a neighbor out there. And, and uh, we, I, was, I was talking to him, and I had some sort of experience that, uh, that I was talking about, and I can't remember what, what it was. And he said, oh, God, that reminds me of a time when, and told me about a roommate of his who had died, and he had to go to the funeral and, and make, since the guy was gay, he had to make up all kinds of lies for the family, who obviously had no idea that the guy was gay, and got dragged off with the, with the brother, who only drank brandy all night, and got taken to every, every bar in, in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. And while he was telling me that, I drifted off and into my mind making that, making him a, a, a woman and the guy coming, and, and, and I paired it all up very differently. And, and that's really when I thought of the story, come, driving, driving back, and had the story pretty clearly in mind by the time I got back to, to New York. Uh, there were two, two people I wanted to work with. One, uh, the guy was obviously perfect for, for Pale. And the, the girl I called up and I said, what would you like to do? And she said, I've, I've, I've never, I used to dance a great deal, and I've never played a dancer, and I would love to be a dancer. I said, what fun, I love dance. And know something about it, that'd be great. So that's, that was the genesis of the play. Then I worked with these two people later, about a month later, and discovered they're the most difficult people I've ever worked with in my life. <laughs> and knew that I, I didn't want anything to do with them ever again. And, and so I forgot the idea completely. And, uh, and four years later, was working on, on two things that, that weren't going anywhere and was in the middle of an anxiety attack, which I've told any number of people by now. <laughs> I mean, I have an anxiety attack about telling about my anxiety attack. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> and said, uh, I, I could not work at all, and I was, very, I was very worried that neither of these ideas was going anywhere. And I hadn't written anything in three years. And I worked myself up into a, a, a frenzy and couldn't work at the office, couldn't work at home. So leaving the office and going home, I said, well, at least since this is an anxiety attack and you're trembling all over and your shoulders feel like concrete, write that down so you get the symptoms of an anxiety attack. <laughs> and you may need it one day. And so I got home and could barely type. And I started in very simple sentences writing what I felt like, for my physical symptoms. And within about five minutes, it had turned into a character who was ranting and railing about everything under the sun. I wrote two whole pages and said, what in the hell is that? And I said, oh, that's, that's pale from four years ago. And then the play was written within three months, which is very, very quick. That is.